Hi, this is Jarrett Watson from Power RC Hobbies. Uh, today we're going to have a look at what's inside the box of the highly anticipated Next D Rave ENV Nitro Flybar Helicopter. Okay, let's have a closer look. Okay, first thing you notice right here, uh, this is the box the canopy is contained in. As we open it up, uh, you see it's nice packaged in some uh, protective wrap there. We'll have a closer look at that here in just one second. And moving on down, we'll see most of the uh, kit components here. As you can see uh, right up top here is your uh, Rave instruction manual. It's a manual containing all the parts for the different variants of the kit. As you can see it's very thick. Uh, it's almost like a book. Uh, we'll have a closer look at that here in a second as well. And right here we got your long parts such as your uh, torque tube, boom supports, tail push rods, stuff like that right here. Uh, nice package together. It's also held in place by the box here to, to limit any shipping damage. We get this box opened up right here. Uh, you, like I said, you'll see most of the kit components here. We'll kind of take everything out here, but we'll uh, examine everything closely uh, later on in the video. Okay, we're going to have a closer look inside the Rave ENV manual right here. Uh, the book is quite thick, uh, it, but it's very informative. You shouldn't have any questions at all uh, after reviewing this before you start your build. Um, as you can see here, uh, it's very similar to the smaller Rave manual as uh, all your parts are listed that you're that are needed for the step that you're working on uh, the manual is color coded based upon what step you're working on as well so it should be very easy to navigate and uh, get everything you need from the manual also worth noting um, some of these parts as are listed right here are uh, for manufacturing only they're not used for reordering parts however this time included with the manual is a back section here it's the rave ENV replacement parts set list and basically what it's going to do is it's going to tell you what number to order such as this right here NDYR-AS1004 and packaged in that bag are the two components uh, as shown inside the square area. Should be pretty helpful when you go to reorder your rave parts. Okay moving on to the canopy as you can see it's the uh, next D orange basically. Uh, these right here these are not decals these are actually cleared over so they are kind of built into the paint. Um, basically it looks like a little rave canopy just kind of all grown up and also on the inside as you can see it's also black inside which that will keep things kind of clean in there for you and uh, also it will give you a little bit better uh, visual appeal when you're not seeing a white canopy also right here it's worth noting you might be able to see right there the canopy is actually reinforced by a carbon fiber uh, like tape like a rope assembly right up in there and that will make the canopy much stronger uh, right inside here to give it more support also packaged inside the canopy, uh, when you see it inside the box, is the fuel tank. Uh, this is a very strong, robust fuel tank. Uh, also included in this bag here, as you see the uh, rubber grommets that hold the uh, tank uh, against the frame. Also one cool little design feature here you'll see, I'm sure Curtis thought of this, was a little reservoir up at the top of the tank. Basically that allows you to fill up your tank full without having to worry about you know overflowing it, flowing back in the tank for your vent line there. Okay, at the very bottom of the box, you'll see the uh, carbon fiber frame set. Both the left hand and right hand side are packaged together, as well as your two lower front frame pieces and your center piece. Flip it over, and you can just have a closer look at the uh, at the uh, frames themselves. Very nice. As you can see, you got the bearings already pre-installed inside the frames. Okay, well, we're gonna have a look at the uh, fan shroud here. Uh, very similar to uh, most helicopters, it does have a baffle in there. That allows to get you a little bit more cooling air over over the cylinder head. Uh, heavy duty plastic, very strong. Okay, here uh, we're going to go ahead and cover the rest of the kit components starting with step one. As you can see here you have your plastic anti-rotation bracket, your plastic bearing blocks. It's like some of your uh, frame spacers as well as some of your bearings right here. It looks like main shaft bearings. And also your uh, tail bell crank All right, is inside this bag. Uh, very strong design there and uh, all sides are usable for mounting your radio electronics which is pretty cool. You can see here you also have your little elevator center pivot point or your uh, elevator bell crank and uh, just some assorted hardware. Okay, uh, we got bag three here. This includes your uh, main gear, your tail drive gear, your auto rotation hub, your main shaft collar. It's like servo mounting hardware with the little carbon support plates there. You flip it over there you see the 12 millimeter main shaft and your Mod 1 gear. Okay, uh, we got bag 4 here. 
This contains the swash plate assembly and all the balls that go into the swash plate. As you can see uh, right here, uh, this hardware bag includes the balls set up for 120 degrees CCPM as well as 140 degrees CCPM. It's worth noting all the components required to convert the helicopter between 120 and 140 are included in this kit. Okay, we got step five here. As you can see, this is the most of your tail components. Uh, this is your forward transmission with the gears pre-installed, your tail boom insert gears, tail pitch slider assembly, tail hub. Flip the bag over, you see your vertical fin with the uh, bearing already pressed in and your, uh, the other side of your tail gearbox with the bearing pressed in as well. Also included in this kit are 107 millimeter next to carbon fiber tail blades. It's worth noting these tail blades are very awesome, they work very well, and they're included in every kit. Okay, uh, we're covering step six right here. As you can see, uh, this contains most of your push rods, your canopy grommets, the U-shaped grommets, as well as the round-shaped grommets, all your uh, links, and flip the bag over, you see you have a nice uh, one-wrap style next D Velcro, as well as a double stick back, or double sticky back Velcro. Also, we have a spares bag, which is pretty nice as it comes with a lot of your small hardware that you might lose or possibly be damaged while during building the kit. Okay, this is the uh, landing gear set for the uh, Ray VNV. A um, couple of cool features about the landing gear. They have these little, uh, basically, wear plates on the bottom. We know a lot of you guys like to do skating autos and sliding down the runway and stuff like that. Uh, it should make the uh, struts last a little bit longer. You can see here you get your aluminum skid tubes as well as the plastic mounts that go in between the frame. Okay, this is the bag containing the fly bar rotor head. Um, basically, this contains all the kits or all the components for your rotor head assembly and everything. Your cross shaft, your grips, your paddles. The paddles are included with the kit. They are plastic thread on type paddles. It's worth noting they work very well in a sport type flying or even like a light 3D flying. But for like aggressive 3D, you're going to want some carbon fiber, really light paddles such as the uh, Stubbs 41 or Stub 4105 paddles from Curtis Shimblet Enterprises. Also right here is your uh, nitro bag, they call it nitro A and nitro B. This contains a lot of your drivetrain parts such as your fan, your clutch. Flip the bag over you'll see the clutch stack as well as your fuel components, fuel tank components and stuff like that. Um, these bag contents in your kit will vary depending on which one you get. Obviously you get an electric, you're not going to get the nitro bag. You get a fly bar that said you're not going to get the bag labeled fly bar. Just worth noting. Okay, lastly we're going to cover the uh, long parts. Uh, basically, this bag right here contains the boom, the boom supports, the torque tube, and the fly bar assemblies right here. Um, comes packaged up very nicely, shouldn't have any problems. You see you got a nice uh, little Next D logo right there on the boom. Okay, uh, we're joined here by Mr. Nick Maxwell, a reigning 3D Masters champion. Nick flew this model in a fly bar electric version uh, to his first place finish for the Masters uh, this year. Uh, this model also was competed in the U.S. Nationals, where uh, Curtis got first and uh, Nick placed second here. So the model is actually getting a head of steam and it's become uh, very contest proven in a short amount of time. Um, we're going to do some more videos later on kind of covering the different variants of the kit and what you might get in your kit or, you know, in what you might not get in your kit actually. Um, so hopefully it'll answer some of the questions and hold you guys over until you actually get the kit that you want. Um, they're available at PowerCHobbies.com. I'm Jarrett Watson. He's Nick Maxwell. Thanks for watching.